Who was Jeroboam, the son of Nebat? We barely talk about him anymore. He could have had a kingdom as wonderful as David's. Just like the prophet's robe, the kingdom was torn. Ten tribes were his to do with as he pleased. When Rehoboam spurned the elders' council, he gave into his fear that people far and near would worship in Jerusalem town still. He said it is too much to go up to Jerusalem, come to Bethel, or even go to Dan. He made two idols, calves, they were golden, fashioned in the image of beast by man. Then he made feasts to honor the beast, all on a day of his own choosing. God's laws he ignored, the fear of the Lord, Jeroboam's subjects were losing. He said, Behold your gods who brought you out of Egypt, just like Aaron's golden calf, but now there were two. He built up in Bethel a house of high places, attracting the people there was easy to do. Anyone could be a priest as long as he brought to the king a special offering. Levites aside, the king would now decide how to serve and who would be serving. He made his own religion, he made his own rules, not content to follow God's own plan. Professing to be wise, they all became as fools, worshiping created things designed by man. People traveled far before planes and cars to sacrifice on Jeroboam's altar. A pilgrimage of faith that only was a waste now that their true faith had faltered. Bethel, the house of God, and Israel, his people, see what they became through Jeroboam's sin. The kings that came after in each generation walked in his sinful ways again and again. Bethel was then known as Bethel then, house of wickedness and empty worship. Samaria became a capital of shame, legacy of Jeroboam's kingship. For now we can learn from the sins of Jeroboam and the consequences he and Israel paid. But soon up in heaven he will be forgotten along with all the false religions people made. Beware of those who rise up unopposed, scratching people's ears with human teaching. Religions that will fail, all to no avail, while God's true faith lives on unceasing. Beware of those who rise up unopposed, Scratching people's ears with human teaching. Religions that will fail, all to no avail, while God's true faith lives on unseen.